Man, I am burned out. The Senate trial just started this week, and I already have a serious case of impeachment fatigue. And just politics in general is wearing me down. Don't get me wrong, I will continue to fight for this republic, but politics isn't supposed to be front and center in our daily lives. We have to stay engaged, but limited government was supposed to let us have the time and the freedom to pursue happiness. Since Trump has been in office, it's been nonstop, 24-7 in our face. The guy can't drink Diet Coke without it being a news story, and a negative news story at that. The Democrats are groaning on and on like a broken record. We have proved Trump is guilty and needs to be removed from office. And also, we need new witnesses and evidence to prove our case in the Senate trial. The fact is, they have yet to prove anything, which is one of the reasons they want new witnesses. That, plus, it'll make the trial drag on longer, which they think is in their benefit. But I think there are a lot of Americans who are burned out just like I am. Limited government was supposed to let we the people run our society, and not through government and especially not through the federal government. It's gotten way out of control. Our government is massive, and if we don't stay incessantly engaged, the left will have government take control over every aspect of our lives. Tom Steyer, the Democratic candidate, says he'll declare a state of emergency on day one if he's elected. Think about what that would mean. A state of emergency allows the government to take away freedoms and suspend laws. Steyer, like so many leftists, wants to make drastic changes to save the world from climate change. He actually says that in his political ads, that he's going to save the world. It's a state of emergency, and I would declare a state of emergency on day one. If we're waiting for Congress, it's not going to get done. We save the world and we do it together. Let's say a state of emergency is declared because of a tornado that hits your city. The town is in disarray. A lot of people and their property are vulnerable. Making a curfew and limiting how much gas you can buy could be a reasonable thing to do in the short term. But what would a national state of emergency look like for climate change? Think about what all contributes to putting CO2 in the air. Would we just allow the president to suspend laws and take away freedoms indefinitely? These are people who call Trump a dictator, and this is what they want to do. Would a president sty or limit how much energy we can use? Would he make eating meat or drinking milk illegal because of cow farts? Would he force the oil companies out of business? Make us all install solar panels on our houses? Outlaw having a grass yard? Suspend air travel? Take control of our thermostats? Institute a one-child policy? It's really scary to think what would be done in a state of emergency over climate change. These people want that kind of power over us. Steyer said he wouldn't even wait for Congress, but the left accused Trump of being a totalitarian dictator. I'm just so burned out. They keep making such weak arguments, and it just takes a toll on you after a while. I saw a few minutes of the Senate trial yesterday, and the Democratic House manager seemingly made a great point. She said that if Trump's goal was not to influence the 2020 election by asking Ukraine to investigate the Bidens, then why didn't he ask them to look into the situation in 2017 or 2018? At first thought, that seems like a good point. Until you realize that President Zelensky got elected in April of 2019. And why did he get elected? Because the people there were tired of all of the corruption in their government. You wouldn't ask the previous president, Poroshenko, to investigate it because he's the one who fired the prosecutor that was investigating Burisma, the company that Hunter Biden worked for. It's so boring and frustrating because it's so easy to combat their arguments. I feel like Neo in the Matrix. I mean, they're still talking about Russia. It's so pathetic. Impeachment fatigue has really set in. I once said that the Democrats are the boy who cried wolf, but it's even worse than that because the wolf ain't ever going to show up. It's hard to stay engaged in this nonsense, but our republic depends on it. So hang in there, guys. Just maybe we'll get to take a break in 2025. Maybe. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a supporting member of Blue Collar Logic, Click on the link in the description and give what you can.